Hi, it's Armor Math. Easy solution to discuss uh, how to completely remove the Babylon toolbar, default search, new tab, homepage, etc. Uh, from Mozilla Firefox. Simple how to. Basically, uh, this is just a useless toolbar that usually gets installed if you press Cook Installation or whatnot when you're downloading it. another program. This usually gets with if you're not paying attention. This happened to me actually a couple days ago and then I got rid of all my uh, default homepage, the Google search, and everything, and then put this random Babylon toolbar. So um, just before I get started, let's just I'm gonna write down about config. Just keep in mind this this is useful to know when you're dealing with uh, Firefox. And so now let's just open it up and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here's the uh, Babylon search right now. As you can see, is the home page. Uh, it's the yeah, base Babylon. It got rid of my home pages actually. It is a big hassle. If I press new tab, it opens Babylon again. This is ridiculous. And there's the uh, useless Babylon toolbar. And there's the, uh, the the change my Google search to Babylon search. Even if I go type here, let's say this is used, this was the default search. If I just write Google, and now it's uh, now it searches automatically with uh, Babylon. This was just pretty ridiculous. I didn't agree to this. So uh, basically, to change it, all you gotta do actually, let's just close these two. Um, you could just go to about config. This is pretty easy, but just uh, pretty tedious. You could probably get a program to do this too, but I don't trust them as much as this. So now if I write Babylon here, basically, uh, if I go back to uh, show that again, basically when you go to back and fig, this goes to the inner workings of Firefox, and then you have to be careful. If you mess up anything, it might void your warranty. So be careful here. So here is the inner workings. This is right Babylon. This shows all the stuff that Babylon overwrit. So what you could do is just, uh, so this one's like the new tab. These are new tab URL, etc. Uh, you could go reset. So you can do this for every single one. And you could basically, yeah. So this that's all it is. This is really tedious. So I'll just get rid of all these ones here. And then here I just got rid of the home page here. This is the toolbar admins, all the toolbars here. And so I'll just keep getting rid of these ones here. I'll just keep getting rid of them. Okay, so I did a lot of that ones. Almost done. It's pretty tedious, but it's pretty easy. You guys, once again, you can download a program probably that does all this. I think I forgot to do these ones, but the thing is, uh, Babylon usually updates itself. Uh, they probably find new ways of getting random stuff up in here. So I don't know why this is changing back to it. Well, uh, we'll see about this one. I don't know why I went back. Reset. Reset. Okay, should be all gone now. So now, if you just close it and then open it again and see what happens. Okay, so now I just open it and there you go. There's a default Firefox Google uh, homepage. The toolbar is still here actually. Uh, you actually have to get rid of it. As yes, apparently, you actually have to get rid of it here. So just go click on uh, Firefox tab up there. Add-ons. So remove here. So that's probably why those stuff were coming back in. So now restart. Okay, so I just uh, re <clears throat> restarted here, and yeah, the toolbar is gone. The default, this one is there, and then the this is this become a Google search now. And if I go new tab, yeah, the, the gallery is here, and it, the stuff is gone. So the Babylon stuff is gone. If I go just by Google here, let's see what it searches, and just come on, yeah. So now it's use search with Google. So basically, yeah, we got rid of all the Babylon stuff. Well, we could check if we got rid of it. Let's go about config again. If I write Babylon. So yeah, there's still a bunch more stuff here actually. So first thing actually to do uh, would have been better to get rid of that Babylon search first. I mean the Babylon toolbar first. So now we gotta get rid of all these again. So this is pretty uh, tedious, but they always find a way of coming back. So I'll keep doing this until everything is gone. Okay, so reset the last few here. So hey, everything's uh, been reset. Let's try this again. Hopefully you got rid of them all. Okay, so it opens up again. Just write about config. Yeah, because even though we got rid of all of the homepage and, and whatnot, the search, but we just don't want to be there anymore. So now we got th this stuff here, actually. The, these last ones, um, what happens, they always come back here. So we'll, uh, I learned be learned before you have to actually go here. You have to, you have to go to Firefox, go help, troubleshooting information, application basics, you could just show folder here and it shows this folder here of basically all your Firefox preferences and uh, profiles and whatnot. So basically make sure you close everything Firefox when you're dealing with that folder so now here first thing that you could do is t 
type in user open uh, so open with a notepad or any text document so now we have all these babble and stuff just get rid of these uh, save it because those are the ones that uh, keeps coming back you'll see that it keeps coming back if you got rid of them so now if I go now here just write prev and now this prefs.js file uh, I could open the same one with um, notepad go to Babylon right here toolbar and highlight this and get rid of it and close and save and now we should be good let's just open the Firefox now everything's fine and then we go with about config Okay, hopefully everything's gone. Cross fingers, Babylon, and everything's gone. So now we've completely got rid of it from Babylon. Show another video how to get rid of it from Google Chrome. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, from Google Chrome, we'll do that next time. But this is uh, basically that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned how to get rid of Babylon, this uh, annoying toolbar. I haven't really tried to use this. I don't know if it's good or not. But uh, if they basically took over my default settings and letting me know, that's pretty ridiculous. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned and uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.